We are here on this very earth to love and to be loved. Hey guys, I am playing golf today at Upland Hills Country Club. Uh, many of you guys know that uh, I shoot here, but I've never seen the golf course. You know, it's like a little different because, oh, that's my mom, by the way. <laughs> She's gonna be taking some pictures for me. So, it's gonna be very interesting today because when I go to a golf tournament, I usually play practice rounds. I am like aware of the golf course. Like I study it and I do my homework. But today is gonna be very different because I've never seen the golf course before. I don't know where the trouble is. I don't know what the greens are like. So it's going to be like a different kind of a vlog. vlog. It'll be like what I would do if I were to play on a golf course that I've never seen before. So that'd be kind of interesting too, I thought. She keeps taking pictures of me from like a two feet away. <laughs> She's like a professional at this. <laughs> so I'll be changing my clothes a lot to make it look like, you know, a real photo shoot. So if you see me in different outfits throughout the whole round, don't freak out. I'm just taking a lot of pictures. We're just looking at their scorecard. Oh, it's kind of short. It's 5,900 from the black tips. This is still kind of short, but you know, at least it's part 70. Oh, right up. I'm going to play the tips. I got my hair done yesterday. It's a little short, so I had to tie it down a little bit instead of up. It's nice, right? I like the color too. This hole is 369 yards. It's not a long one. Par four, pretty straight away. See is what you get. These trees here, and then further down, there's trees sticking out on the left-hand side. So I'm going to stand on the right-hand side of the tee near the marker and kind of go for, there's like three, I don't think you can see it, three palms right there. I'm gonna go at the furthest right palm, which is kind of like right center of the fairway. Okay, so I'm gonna tee it up right next to that tee marker. shot of the day um, no warm-up or anything like that I drew it a little bit left hand side of the fairway not bad let's go look at it here I am left hand side of the fairway right by the bunker that's a hundred yard marker let's see if I have my bush now you know I think I left my bush now at home <laughs> I'd be really sad no bush now here uh oh Oh, I have my Bushnell. This Bushnell, look how old this is. You know, I got this when I was in high school for 130 bucks or something. It has not let me down. <laughs> this is the best investment I've ever made. <laughs> I love this thing. 114. So I didn't hit it that bad, really, from the tips, right? I thought I lost a lot of distance, but hey, I'll take this. A little bit wind helping from the right. You know, my angle of attack is quite good actually. Pin is kind of in the front middle of the green. So 114, it's a pretty severe upslope where the flag is. So it's gonna stop pretty fast and you don't wanna be above the hole in this case. I'm gonna hit something 110, but honestly, I really don't, oh, zoomed in. So honestly, I don't really know how far I hit my irons, really. So I wanna hit it like 110, but I really don't know what that is. Usually it would be my, my pitching wedge, but this is, ball below my feet so i'm gonna have to aim i'm gonna aim at the flag actually because there's like this tree sticking out right there i don't want to flirt with it so i'm gonna go at the flag if it veers right that's fine so i'm going to really concentrate on um staying low and concentrate on the contact of the ball okay so the green slopes back to front severely and I am a little bit higher than the hole. So I will usually take a look at this um, when I'm walking to, to the green. I was on the cart, so I was looking at it as I was driving up. But I kind of get the general you know, idea of the slope. And then I look at the small breaks from my ball to the hole. All right, let's look at my routine. I'm gonna leave the flag in so you can see where the hole is. It 
It's a pretty severe upslope where the flag is. So beautiful out here and you know it's not that busy so I can just kind of take my time, set up the, set up the camera, do my own thing. I love playing golf by myself because it reminds me of when I was in like middle school. Before the sunset, I'll just go play golf and that was like the most peaceful time ever. Like 365 yards, I can get used to this link. Straightforward, pin is right behind that water fountain thing. Um, I'm going to tee off on the left hand side of the tee box because there's this trees right here they're kind of in our way. The flag is in the left hand side on this hole and there's water in the front left. But I aim at the fairway bunker which is going to be kind of right side of this uh, fairway. I aimed at the fairway bunker and it drew in beautifully right at the bunker. We'll see how far I hit it. I didn't hit it that well, I'm not that warmed up. Let's see. I expected it to be a little bit more difficult doing the course long, but this golf course is actually very straightforward. You might hear some camera shutter sound going off like crazy when I'm swinging. That's my mom. So she just asked me if it's distracting. And I said, of course, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I'm training to become like Tiger Woods. Just as he's beginning to swing, I dropped my whole bag of clubs. You know, have to fight through the distractions. And you see the water fountain there, and the pin is right here. Actually, the fairway itself kicked all the way, so I'm on the left-hand side of the fairway. I'm like very lucky. If I didn't aim far enough right, I would be in the water. 122 into the wind, back pin, so I don't want to be long because there's more room before the fly. Try and hit 122 on the number. Slightly above my feet, so it's gonna draw a little bit on me and the flag is kind of left of the middle and I it looks like the right hand side is higher. So I am going to aim middle of the green or slightly right of the middle of the green. So I'm gonna let it kind of draw and then trickle so it ends up maybe five feet left of the flag. That's my plan. Okay. <laughs> it was actually exactly how I planned except it drew a little bit too much and I hit it a little bit too far. So it's not 5 feet left of the flag, it's past the flag, maybe 20 feet. There's two balls on there because my mom wanted me to hit one more for our pictures. Okay, so it's not bad, look, 12 feet. So these two were short par fours to start with. So they're really like birdie holes, but you know, I haven't played, I don't really remember the last time I played, I'm sorry. I think it was with Kevin. Remember the course vlog I did back in January? I'm like making up excuses, but that's what golfers do. When you go tee off with people, let's say people you've never met before and you're playing golf with them and then the first thing you say is, oh, I have a really, really sore back today. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? That's how you start, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Kind of nice to start with two easy holes to get the confidence going and the feel going. Okay, so number 12, 315 yards. It's a very short par four. This is a birdie chance. This is really straight. Pin is front left. Green appears to be back to front sloping. I'm gonna try and get it as close to the green as possible so I can have like a lob wedge into the green. Since the flag is front left, I really want to be hitting my second shot from like the right hand side of the fairway so I have like a nicer angle into it. 
either center of the fairway or right hand side of the fairway I think but the wind is blowing helping from the right I'm gonna aim right center of the fairway there's two palm trees right there I'm gonna go for the one on the left and I'm gonna let it kind of draw into the center of the fairway that's my plan So it kind of fits my eye better to tee it up in the middle of the tee box. Oh yeah. I don't think I hit it great, but as long as I make a square contact and it goes straight in the first couple holes, that's all I'm trying to achieve. I'm just trying to warm up trying to feel it out, trying to see what my club orientation is doing for the day and figure out my rhythm. So first couple holes, I'm not that aggressive and most of the pros aren't aggressive. Um, they feel it out when they feel great, that's when they start killing it. Dude, I hit it very nice and easy and I hit it 265. I got 50 yards left. Not bad. There's like a slight elevation in the edge so you want to definitely fly that. Many of these greens appear to be sloping back to front kind of quite severely and even though it looks like the greens are hairy they're rolling very nice they're taking the brakes um, kind of some of the breaks actually uh, caught me by surprise because I would aim out like two feet and it would turn like four feet which is kind of unusual so I definitely want to stay below the hole on this golf course. Front pin I'm gonna have to land it like front edge of the green so it stops be below the hole. 45 yard shot with my 58 degree. It was super low trajectory. I don't know if you saw it. Can you see? Three feet, pin high, birdie chance. It's really not bad. That's makeable. short putts three footers um, did you see how I still did my full routine uh, about a golf ball outside the hole which is quite a big of a break so when it's uphill and it turns quite a bit speed is most important so you have to pick your speed and you have to be gutsy enough to execute the exact speed you plan to hit that was a very nice roll <music> 